Good afternoon. My name is Kelly Lam. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Milo. Welcome, bienvenue, and willkommen. Many of you are remaining at home, safe with your families during these very challenging times we all face. But we want to ensure that we continue to be here for you, our customers, whether it's about products you own, products you're actually interested in actually owning, or whether you have additional questions about the continued service we are providing during these times. Mila Live is all to answer the questions that you have. These sessions will cover various topics from our laundry systems, our floor care vacuums, to all of our cooking products. We're excited to talk live to you during these sessions. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui ont demandé pour des sessions en français, on est en train de travailler d'avoir des sessions dans les semaines qui viennent. Meal Alive is completely interactive. You can send us questions in real time. Many of you have actually already submitted questions ahead of time. We'll try to get to as many of those as possible. So be sure to tune in, watch us live, interact with us live. And today we're actually really excited to dive into a product category that's near and dear to our heart, Mila dishwashers, as we've been known for dishwashers for a long time. With me today is our product expert, Mike, who's actually going to do a deep dive into the topic of one specific model of dishwashers. Mike, welcome. Thank Good you, afternoon. Kelly. Good afternoon. So these sessions are really about helping our customers choose the right product for them. We're going to cover dishwashers. I know it's a product you love uh, as well. Um, by starting off, you know, customers have very specific needs when it comes to dishwashers, but what would you say is the number one um, importance uh, a customer chooses when choosing a dishwasher? Uh, that's a good question. What's the number one criteria for the consumer when it comes to buying a dishwasher? Oftentimes, uh, from experience, folks will uh, immediately want to know how quiet something is or how loud something is because they're used to perhaps having a dishwasher in their homes uh, that uh, definitely make their presence known from an acoustical emission standpoint. So I would say that's probably the number one characteristic uh, that people look for in a dishwasher. They want to have one that's going to work well, clean your dishes, but they don't necessarily want to hear it in their homes. And then when it comes to, obviously, and we'll come back to sound and, and noise levels in a minute, um, but maybe a bit of the history uh, before we get started into this topic, because Mila has uh, been making dishwashers and perfecting the art of cleaning dishes for a long, long time. Okay, how about I turn it around on you, Kelly? I think we'd be remiss if we didn't have a pop Ooh. quiz when we do a dishwasher session. So uh, all our dishwashers in the Mila lineup start with a letter and then end up with a four-digit code. And uh, it's, it's nomenclature, and we're going to ask Kelly here on the spot, put him on the spot a little bit and ask him what the G in all our dishwasher lineup stands for. So Kelly, what is the G? So the G is for the German word for dishwasher. And that <laughs> word is? I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to even try to pronounce it, but you can. But, oh, that's but anticlimactic. I, but am I correct? Uh, it is, and I'm going to take a stab at it. I am not a native German speaker, but it is Geschirrspüler. How did I do? Geschirrspüler. Yeah, that's good. Geschirrspüler. So uh, for every single one of our dishwashers, we start with the letter G, and then we have a four-digit code. And today we're going to be talking about our G4228 uh, and the family of products that fall under that umbrella for uh, our, our dishwasher family. We're going to look at this dishwasher specifically, but I just want to get back to that acoustic emissions and, and sound. Now, I, before we started today's session, placed my cell phone in this dishwasher. Wow. And I had my Spotify running. And I just want to show this because it's a great um, visual or acoustic um, reminder of how sound travels through certain materials and how it doesn't through others. And so, every single, let me just turn this off. So just as a disclaimer uh, for all of you out there, we do not recommend putting your cell phone into our dishwashers. And the second thing is our dishwashers don't come with music, so. 
Yeah, thanks. Good point. <laughs> Just make sure. I mean, it'll, it'll clean your phone, but I'm not sure it'll work as a phone after that. Um, so that's a, um, a way that we can show sound. Um, and so uh, all Mila dishwashers, starting at the 4228, right up through our entire lineup, we're taking special measures uh, to ensure that sound stays within the dishwasher. Some of the measures that we actively um, <clears throat> put into each and every one of our models is sound deading material on all the sides of the dishwasher, including the bottom, the back, and both the sides. The top is also finished in sound deading material, and that can be foam. We use foam um, material as well as uh, bitumen coating. So we use that to insulate the motor, the sounds that you would hear normally from a pump. Um, Essentially, the only noise that you hear from the Mila dishwasher oftentimes is the noise of water running through a drain, drain. into your plumbing in the home. So I just want to start off by talking about sound emissions and how good we are at ensuring a low sound emission value. From a decibel perspective, if you'll remember from our previous sessions on the dishwasher mm -hmm. side, our lineup ranges at around 46 decibels, all the, all the way down into the high 30s in some of our uh, top tier models with extra quiet programs, et cetera. So just keep that in mind. And, and the value is important. Uh, don't just look at a number because there is really no standard for testing. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that when we publish a number like 46 decibels in the 4228, that that is running on a full load of dirty dishes. Um, and generally the, the noise rating as you go through our lineup is, is almost in imperceptible increments of two decibels. So uh, really not discernible between our classic to our classic plus to our crystal. Uh, when you maybe have this next to one of our top tier models, you might discern a slight difference, but very negligible. But I think, Mike, that's the, you know, I think the whole topic of sound is so important because I think that's the number one um, concern or need we hear from our consumers when buying a dishwasher um, is the first thing is, is it quiet? Yeah. Um, so I think that's, that's great that you were able to at least answer some of the questions because I think sometimes people will get too caught up in the numbers. Um, and as you said, there's no real standard in testing, so it's important to note. And I think that's why that demonstration is, uh, is great yeah. to show. So uh, you talked about quality and experience in the category dishwashers. This is a core, core product for us. We are um, known for our high quality dishwashers and the 4228 is no exception. It is built on the same platform as all our entire other models in this lineup. And we've been building dishwashers, if you'll remember, since 1929. So there's over 90 years of experience when it comes to building dishwashers. So uh, a lot of that has distilled down into our current lineup here. And we're going to talk about the next important thing when it comes to washing your dishes in a dishwasher, and that's performance. So we've established really good sound emissions. We have a high expertise in the category, but we are also really good at delivering amazing results inside the dishwasher. Which I think is one of the most important things as well a customer looks for at the end of the day is, are my dishes cleaned really well? And are my dishes taken care of, not just cleaned? Yeah. So I'm going to open up the dishwasher, but if you'll bear with me, I just want to talk about the 4228 and the lineup of products within this umbrella uh, of dishwashers. It is the starting point in our lineup. Uh, it is available in stainless as you see it here with front-facing controls uh, that have a power button, a program selector, options, and then a start and stop button. Uh, this dishwasher, the 4228, also comes in black or white finishes as well. They come right out of the box, completely pre-finished, ready for installation into your niche. It is a standard dishwasher size for the North American kitchen, and so therefore, uh, no cabinet work is generally required with the installation of a 4228 uh, dishwasher. And Mike, just uh, sorry to interrupt you for a sec there, but I think for, for the viewers out there online too, is these are one of the models uh, that is available on the Mila shop on mila.ca, uh, which is available 24-7 to you. As Mike said, it, it is out of the box. Um, so uh, very easy purchase uh, online as well. So again, during this period, as many of you are at home, remember that the Mila shop is open 24-7 uh, for you. 
Yeah, so uh, just moving on through the lineup, available in stainless. Now, this is not just a regular stainless. This is a, a proprietary finish that goes on the outside of all our stainless dishwashers. It's clean touch steel. It is uh, basically a coating that goes on the outside of the stainless steel that makes it uh, resistant to fingerprints or smudging from hand sanitizer, perhaps uh, moisturizer. Uh, so really great finish and to clean the outside of a stainless dishwasher you may think oh I don't want stainless because I'll have that smudging and they're tough to clean Really simple with a microfiber cloth and even just some water you're able to clean off most smudges and really keep the dishwasher looking exceptionally uh, beautiful in your kitchen for many many years because of course the dishwasher is designed to last 20 years as is all our product in our lineup now the 4228 comes in black, white, or stainless, but there's also a different uh, version within the finishes, and I'll explain what they are. Starting at $9.99 in black or white, you get this dishwasher with a cutlery basket. Now, if you're in the market for a Mila dishwasher, you perhaps have heard uh, about a Mila cutlery tray, or maybe you haven't. But we have two methods by which we can address the washing of spoons, knives, forks in your dishwasher. You can do it at $9.99 starting at with black or white or $10.99 in stainless with a cutlery basket. Now it's a great cutlery basket. You've got individualized slots for your forks, knives, and spoons so they're not touching. You have two layers with a removable insert. And the other great thing about washing in this particular cutlery uh, basket is you have this handle and I'll just show you where it would go in a Mila dishwasher. You open the door, you make sure your foam's not in there, and your cutlery basket will basically fit right in to this front row of spikes anywhere along the front. So you can have that added flexibility of being able to place your saucers and plates, and at the end of a wash, carry this over to your cutlery drawer, and then sort it into the appropriate uh, storage compartments in your cutlery drawer. So this is a nifty way of washing cutlery basket or your, sorry, your cutlery in a basket. But let's face it, uh, we're really well regarded when it comes to um, washing cutlery in a cutlery tray. Now, the cutlery tray was trademarked by us um, in the late 80s and uh, we see it here in the 4228 SCU-SS model. So this dishwasher is on uh, normally for $16.49. It is on today on our web shop for $12.99. So just keep that in mind. For $12.99, a fully finished stainless steel Mila dishwasher with a cutlery tray. Now there are some additional calls to action uh, with today's particular set of offers. But just keep in mind, we have a price off of almost $350. In addition to that, there's a number of offers we layer on. Today. Yeah, absolutely. So, Mike, we also have, um, for the residents of Ontario, there's a Ontario Energy Savings uh, Rebate Program that can be added to uh, this product as well. Um, so. Yeah, so the, the federal government has bestowed upon uh, manufacturers and retailers of uh, Energy Star certified appliances for Ontario residents only, additional price off savings for moving into uh, appliances that are said to be more energy, energy efficient. And the 4228 is no exception. So with that offer for Ontario residents, you're able to take advantage of the $350 savings, that's uh, $1299. In addition to that, you receive the Energy Star rebate at the point of purchase, so that's an additional $200 $24 off and the uh, additional benefits of having um, the offer that we have on today include include our what we call our peace of mind promotion as well yeah so that is uh, great if you're on the fence about having a Mila in your home or whether or not you should go for the investment of having the Mila brand you've never had a Mila dishwasher you want to see exactly how quiet a Mila dishwasher is and you don't want to take our word for it. Get it in your home, use it uh, extensively, as extensively as you want for 30 days and if you're not satisfied with the performance of the dishwasher, we're essentially going to come pick it up with no questions asked. And, and I think especially in our situation that we're all in today, 
you know, one, I think there's sometimes hesitations to buy online because of how hard it is to return if I don't like it. And I think that's where the peace of mind promotion that we have right now is really providing you that opportunity to buy easy while you're at home. Uh, you know, our, you know, to answer another question that some viewers had is what services are we still currently offering in this environment? So both Mila delivery installation services are fully operational, um, but obviously um, we've uh, revised some of our guidelines and procedures to ensure the safety of you, uh, our customers, but also our own employees that are doing the delivery and service. And those are Mila delivery and installation services. So really, it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the offer, the peace of mind. You can get it in your home, not worry about it. As part of the peace of mind, Mike, we also give you know, uh, delivery. What else do we actually give as part of that peace of mind promo? OK, so we're batting back and forth a bunch of different offers. Let's just recap really quickly what we got so far. We have the dishwasher itself, and the, all our 4228s are on for price off. The one model we're talking about specifically is fully finished in stainless steel with the cutlery tray. This is on right now for $12.99, normally $13.49. We're layering on a 30-day in-home peace of mind warranty. So if you want, you can return the dishwasher after 30 days. In addition to this, we have free delivery in-home nationally. So we're going to deliver it into your home free of charge. We're not going to install it free of charge, but we'll certainly deliver it. Um, in addition to this, we have a five-year um, Mila advantage warranty with the dishwasher free of charge. So just keep in mind, so there's those offers. And then really the cherry on top, Kelly, why don't we tell? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So for, for those of you out there that are watching us right now, uh, and really specifically for you, we have an additional offer. So if you go online on Mila.ca and you buy between after the session uh, ends um, and midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, uh, and you type in Mila Live Dish 10, uh, upon checkout, we're gonna give you an additional five-year Mila warranty. So you're actually getting, exclusive to you, a 10-year Mila underwritten warranty, so that if really, if you talk about peace of mind, Mike, there's no better peace of mind than that. Um, you know, any worries, you contact us directly and we look after that. And that's how strongly we also believe in our products themselves. So a uh, great opportunity right now, uh, if you're at home, uh, if you're thinking about replacing a dishwasher, this is really a great offer for you. It really is. Uh, in my years here at Mila, I've never seen something that uh, we've been able to platform for consumers. So if you've ever uh, thought about having a Mila in your home or if you're a re repeat customer and you need to upgrade or maybe move into a new uh, appliance, certainly today's offers are mm -hmm. really unprecedented. Uh, um, before we get to a couple of questions, is it okay if I just show a yeah, couple I of think the it'd points be great. on the dishwasher? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the 4228 by volume is our best seller here at Mila Canada. So uh, why is that? It's because it's the perfect intersection of performance, quality, design, uh, acoustic emissions. It really is uh, hitting a lot of those uh, criteria that consumers hold near and dear to their heart as they go out and purchase. And then the price point is quite uh, unbelievable as well, oftentimes on promotion. Not like it is today, but certainly we do pulse mm -hmm. on promotions for this particular model in our lineup. Now the stainless cutlery tray version we have here is no different than any other model in that it has three full-size spray arms in this dishwasher. Uh, when we talk about results and performance, you need good water penetration through the entire dishwasher cabinet. And so we uh, make sure that there is always a full bottom spray arm spraying water up and off to the sides. <clears throat> in the middle basket, you'll see from the top a middle full size spray arm again, and that shoots water down, but also up uh, and actioning, obviously, your, your cutlery tray here. And oftentimes in competitive models, I often tell consumers when you're shopping, for a dishwasher with a cutlery tray because we had this patent for a number of years and then mm -hmm. obviously other uh, competitors got into the cutlery tray business. I often tell consumers, it's not just the tray, it's a system for washing. So it's the tray, but you, you don't get wash results up here unless you're directing water from your middle spray arm, but also spraying down from a full-sized 
spray arm at the top of the dishwasher cabinet. So if you have, for example, a jet or a little propeller or nothing at all, you're gonna really be compromising the results you see come off of spoons with peanut butter on them, for example. And uh, so it is very much a system approach to washing cutlery. Um, what else can I tell you about a Miele dishwasher? In the 4228, you, you have without question the middle adjustable back basket. Why is this handy? Uh, why can I raise or lower either side? And again, the orange on a Miele dishwasher indicates an invite or a call to action. And we can raise or lower each of the sides in nine different unique positions. And that's kind of handy if you have, for example, taller items down below, cutting boards, uh, baking sheets. You can raise the middle basket, still engage that spray arm completely, <clears throat> and also have the added benefit of allowing for water to, at the end of the cycle, uh, drain off your dishes down to the bottom where it gets drained away. And I think, Mike, you know, the, the importance of the uh, spray arms, we really looked at also in last week's session where we really looked at a full load dishwasher. Um, and, you know, when you do have a full load, um, how many place settings can we get into this, uh, the G4228? We can really cram these uh, dishwashers uh, full with up to 16 place settings. Uh, at 16 place settings, you're running a full load. Right. But uh, I think that's where the importance of the spray arms really come into play when you have a full 16 settings uh, in the dishwasher. Yeah, because you need to circulate uh, that water inside of the dishwasher. Now, keep in mind, we achieve amazing wash results, high capacity with the cutlery tray, 16 place settings, 10 place settings if you go with the basket model 4228. Just keep that in mind because you do take up some space in that bottom basket. So another benefit of this cutlery tray is you free up that space and this space in the dishwasher normally would go unused. So that's one of the um, secrets, I guess, to getting 16 place settings in a Miele dishwasher. Now, uh, I was just going to say, um, from a performance perspective, you need good water penetration. Uh, you also need to filter your water quite regularly and we have a great triple filtration system in the Miele dishwasher that's um, ensuring that your solid waste is being pumped away and drained to the bottom and then you're circulating clean water on a continual basis. And then I just want to quickly mention great performance, great sound emissions, but also very efficient. We have an Energy Star rating on the front of it so that means basically from an electrical point of view and also a water consumption point of view, we're doing uh, exceptional things when it comes to conservation. So we're creating great results, but we're doing that in an efficient manner, which is uh, the perfect balance. And, and I think that's always been uh, a core competency and an importance within the Miele brand has been uh, our dedication to sustainability and the environment. And that comes through even with uh, the G4228 uh, dishwasher amongst the lineup. Yeah. Um, you ready to take a couple of questions, Mike? I'm always ready for questions. Okay, very good. Um, so Martha Bank, uh, two out there, thank you for joining us, Martha, today. Um, your question is, how easy is this to actually install? I love install questions because I really think this dishwasher is quite simple. Now, that may be a result of me having done multiple installations. But really, when you peel back the layers on this, um, it is, we've taken steps with this generation of dishwashers to make it the simplest install possible. Number one, it comes out of the box completely finished. So all you do is really uh, push it into the niche, uh, provision your electrical and your water source, and then your drain source, obviously. But the electrical component, for example, is, is among the easiest to install. Uh, I would just state that if you have a plug back there, great. If you don't have a plug back there, and let's say you have a hardwired connection to your dishwasher presently, the Miele dishwasher is also really good because you can run that hard wire right under the dishwasher in the front, bottom, uh, toe kick as we call it. There's a, a direct connection available where you can remove the electrical cord that comes with the dishwasher and directly connect it to the hard wire in your um, in your particular dishwasher niche. So from an electrical perspective, very simple. And then plumbing and drainage are standard connections as well. So if you have somebody in the home that's technically proficient, 
uh, has done a dishwasher install before. The Mila, I'd say, is very simple. Legs adjust all four sides very easily. Mm -hmm. The back legs are adjusted from the front, so you can raise or lower the dishwasher in the niche to get that perfect silhouette inside with an eighth of an inch all the way around. Um, the front legs are adjusted from the front quite easily. So I would say, yes, very easy to install. There are videos online that uh, show a Mila dishwasher being installed. Uh, I would check those out for some reference and of course our material that comes with the dishwasher, the installation diagram and plan are also quite easy to follow. So Martha, hopefully that's answered your question on installation. Uh, although I also will remind you that uh, we offer Mila installation. Those are our own installers that can go out uh, and we are currently still operating again with uh, revised guidelines. Um, so for any of you interested in that, be sure to visit Mila.ca um, and you can actually see uh, detailed exactly some of the changes and processes we've put in place again just to ensure the safety of you, our customers, as well as our employees. So there are two options for you uh, available there, um, but as Mike said, you can also do that yourself. Um, Mike, another question we have uh, from a customer, uh, Wei Wong. Uh, and the question is, what is the rinse and hold cycle for? Okay, so the rinse and hold cycle, we, we didn't go into the programs on a G4228, so maybe I'll start that would actually be a good uh, with that. Uh, we have uh, our five best sellers, I guess, if you will. Our biggest hits are on this outside of the 4228. We have our pots and pans cycle. That's great for heavily soiled dishes or your pots and pans. Right. So really high temperatures. Uh, a pre, a wash program, an intermittent rinse, so it typically goes a little bit longer, uh, will run a little bit hotter and use more water. So that's the pots and pans cycle. I wouldn't recommend it for normal everyday use. For that I would use normal. Now normal is uh, essentially a, an automatic program. So you would put it in on a normal load. It's going to sense for turbidity in your water or how soiled your dishes are will adjust the wash program up or down depending on the soiling. So even if you have a half load, running on normal is a great way to wash your dishes and not worry about overconsumption on water and electricity. Uh, it may look like you're running a half load and it's wasteful, but the dishwasher actually is detecting how much water is running through, how long it takes to reach the bottom, and then adjust variables accordingly. So just keep in mind, normal is what you're going to use nine times out of 10. Economy. This is where we scale down on the heating of the water inside the dishwasher. And we also rely uh, more heavily on soaking times. So you're going to achieve really good results, but your dishwasher cycle program extends out, uh, I'd say by about 20%, uh, and you're being as efficient. So if you're running, for example, off-grid, off-solar power, and you want to conserve as much as possible, Economy is a great setting for you. Sani wash is our highest temperature wash, both in the pre-wash and in the uh, final rinses. Great for washing baby bottles and sanitizing them. Um, so that's a, a great option if you're concerned with the sanitization of items in your home, if you have somebody with low immune system. Uh, definitely a great option to have. Uh, and then of course, the last program is rinse and hold. Wei Wang was asking about this. Mm -hmm. I would use uh, rinse and hold. Uh, it is just basically a 15 minute program and it's basically meant to freshen up uh, your crockery as it comes out of your cabinet. Uh, for example, if you've had uh, your dishes sitting in a, your vacation home and you're just arriving there and you're, you just wanna kind of run them through water, it's a great way to mm -hmm. kind of do that. Uh, I would also use rinse and hold if um, it's just you and your partner in home and you've had a dinner and it's uh, highly um, aromatic, let's say spicy cooking, and you don't necessarily need to run because you, uh, a full load because you've just had two plates and maybe a serving dish or two. Yeah. Uh, rinse and hold is a great way to kind of get that initial residue off your plates uh, without having to run them under the tap. Like, and wastewater that way. And I think if we look at, you know, uh, many of you are at home cooking all your meals right now, uh, as you know, many of us, uh, all of us really can't go out. So I think that's also a, a great example of when I could use the rinse and hold, have my breakfast, rinse them, 
have my lunch and actually do a final load at the end of the day, which would be the most efficient yeah. uh, to do that. So, mm -hmm. good. Um, we're, we're running short on time. I'm going to group the next set of questions for you, Mike. It seems like uh, other viewers out there, uh, Jeannie, Dave, there, there's some questions around detergents themselves, which is the best detergents to use, um, scents uh, or smells coming from the dishwasher. Uh, you know, how can I manage that? You mentioned the rinse and hold, which is actually a good way um, to, to do that. Uh, are there filters I need to change? Um, so maybe let's let's start with the smell uh, and scent option uh, in the dishwasher itself. So you just talked about the rinse and hold. That's a good way. What other options or what else do uh, our customers need to do on a maintenance basis for the dishwasher? Okay, so uh, let's jump right in. Uh, the dishwashers, I would recommend running rinse and hold if you've uh, had some very pungent aromatic cooking and you're uh, not having to run a full load. Obviously, if you're hypersensitive to those smells going forward, why did you order them in the first place or cook them? But uh, beyond that, uh, rinse and hold is a great way to do that. Clean off your dishes and then have a, a cleaner load ready for additional items and then you can run a proper uh, sanitize or normal program. In addition to that, uh, there's two things I would recommend. Obviously, that is, uh, there should be no pooling in the bottom of your dishwasher. If mm. there is pooling, that means water, wastewater is coming back in for some reason, and that should not be happening. And if that's producing smells or odors, then I would ask that you look in your instruction manual. I could do that uh, perhaps in a future session, but we can actually self-service the dishwasher where you can go in, remove the bottom spray arm, remove the filters, and get at the return valve that allows water to exit, but once that water exit, that ball should seat on a valve. And so sometimes what we have are solids like broken glass or olive pits or toothpicks, for example, that uh, hold that ball open and you have wastewater come back in. So just keep that in mind. So there's that. Mm -hmm. And then also cleaning the filters. We have a triple filter in the bottom of each and every one of our dishwashers. So uh, we would just recommend regular cleaning of those filters to ensure that there's no solids in there also emitting perhaps odors or smells uh, that are less than desirable, obviously. So I would say that. In addition, if you also want to take the added precaution from a consumables perspective, we have this really uh, nice green tea scented air freshener. Um, it's not super pungent, but does a great job of hanging on the inside of the middle basket. And this just is like an air freshener, I'd say. Yep that you would use in your car. Your car is clean, obviously, but if you want that fresh smelling feeling that you get, then certainly the uh, dishwasher freshener is a great uh, option as well. So lots of things there. And then from a consumables uh, perspective, what kind of consumables should I be running in my dishwasher? Uh, you can use essentially anything that you've used in the past. Uh, results may vary by um, manufacturer or by product. Mm -hmm. We have specially designed uh, all our Mila Care collection to work optimally with all our product. So I would recommend if you're getting less than stellar results in the dishwasher that you change up your uh, detergent. Uh, we would recommend using Mer uh, Mila Care collection. Absolutely. Our ultra tabs have a number of different ingredients in them surfactants to help with drying and spotting and etching, um, also salt and water softening capabilities in the actual tabs themselves. Uh, so they are a multi-formulation of seven or eight different ingredients uh, and they do not contain phosphates so they're great for the environment as well uh, from that point of view. So switch things up. Uh, if you're running a half load we also as a quick tip would say hey cut your tab in half uh, and get more uses from your 30-pack uh, or 20-pack is it these days. Uh, but you can certainly extend your purchasing power if you do run half loads and cut your tabs in half. I get amazing results at home by doing that as well. Good. And of course, uh, rinse aid is an important consumable that's important. You don't have to use Mila Care Collection, but it's a great way to ensure that you don't get spotting or pitting. And then when you use them in conjunction, you should be getting optimal results. Actually, that's perfect, Mike. That answered the next question in regards to spotting. So I think that's 
with RinseAid, I think that provides a, a great solution in combination with. Yeah, so the RinseAid uh, is a, a, a really good product, but just by itself, you also, if you have uh, situations where you do have pitting or spotting, I recommend the following after a dish uh, cycle in your dishwasher. Um, I would recommend just opening your dishwasher like so, so you add ambient air to aid in additional drying, and then this should be the cue to your partner to empty the dishwasher. In some of our models, we have auto open drying, so this takes drying to the next level, and it also reduces the um, spotting that would occur from dishes not being completely dry. Uh, so you may want to do that in combination using the right detergents. So Mike, I'm going to take two last questions because we are really running short on time. There's definitely interest um, on the G4228. Um, David out there, hi David. Um, hope you and your family are doing well. Um, your question is, how will I know when to empty the drain in the dishwasher, Mike? Okay, uh, so uh, empty the drain. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume Dave means perhaps uh, check the drain valve in the bottom of the dishwasher. So uh, one of two things will happen. Uh, you will have a fault that appears on the outside of your dishwasher under intake and drain and it'll flash. That'll give you a fault code indicating that the dishwasher has detected a problem uh, with the water course internally. So at that point, Dave, I would recommend taking a quick look at the bottom of the dishwasher, pulling out your bottom basket, pulling off your spray arm, and just make sure that there's no pooling happening down here. If there is pooling, in fact, then at that point I would remove the filters, check that valve, and replace all the parts. Um, so there's basically that pooling or the fault light on the front of the dishwasher. Great. Last question, Mike, uh, from a viewer out there. So um, are the cutlery tray and the baskets interchangeable? I love uh, the basket, or I'm used to the basket. If I buy the model with the cutlery tray, can I still get the basket? Okay, so uh, you can get either or. We don't, uh, in the purposes of, of not being wasteful, we'll either, uh, you'll either purchase a 4228 with a basket or you'll purchase a 4228 with a cutlery tray. Uh, having said that, if I purchase this particular 4228 fully finished in stainless with the cutlery tray, um, you can for an additional uh, price of approximately $70 purchase the dishwasher basket as a part directly from Mila Canada. We ship it to your home and then you can use this. My recommendation would be to try the cutlery tray, see if you can get used to it. And if you can't, this is always uh, available as a part um, in our lineup. Now, if you buy a basket only model and then try to retrofit it with a cutlery tray, I would say that the it's a little bit cost prohibitive to do that by then purchasing the parts and having it professionally installed by one of the team members here. So uh, it's easier to go and buy a basket than it is to then buy a basket model and then retrofit with a cutlery tray. So just something to keep in mind. Perfect. Well, thanks, Mike. I think that was a really informative session. Uh, and just to wrap up on the, the product side of things, maybe you can just summarize once again. So what can a customer expect right now if they're interested in buying the G4228 uh, with cutlery tray? Okay, so the, all our G4228s are on price off. If you opt for the stainless model with cutlery tray, there's an additional uh, five-year warranty that you layer on top of an a free five-year warranty already, extending your warranty coverage in home to 10 years. So if you purchase that with the entry of this uh, promo code, Upon checkout, you will receive that additional offer. So the, the standing offer is that, in addition to price off. So this dishwasher normally retails for $16.49, is on today for $12.99. It includes a free delivery, a 30-day money back warranty, uh, the five-year warranty, in addition to that with the promo code, an additional five years for a total of 10 years in home. So amazing offer and for Ontario residents you layer on the ESR rebate. Um, unheard of the call to action we have here today. Yeah I think it's uh, and again it's uh, if you're considering buying this this peace of mind offer that we have um, is available you can really purchase it without any worries at all um, and we'll stand behind that purchase. So thanks Mike uh, for an amazing session uh, once again. Um, 
want to thank all of you out there for watching with us today. Uh, Meal Alive is really answering your questions. So hopefully you're able to continue to join us uh, in future sessions we have. Mike is actually back this afternoon at 3 o'clock to talk about something that we sometimes overlook and the importance of uh, cooking ventilation itself um, and the different options that we have and how that functions. Um, at 5 o'clock today, we're going to be talking and showing you how to use our roast probes in our ovens. Uh, and we will continue on on Friday with uh, some additional sessions. So make sure you visit mealalive.ca to get the latest information uh, on the sessions coming up. We have some really exciting hands-on cooking, our cook-along sessions, sessions that we will have for you. So uh, we want to thank you for that. Um, as a reminder, Mila.ca uh, is a great resource for you. Our Mila shop is open 24-7. Uh, if you're interested in seeing which of our retail partners are open, visit Mila.ca and look at our retailer locator and find out which of our retail partners are still uh, available to you as well. We have our personal telephone consultation service. It's a new service that we're offering uh, where you can actually talk one-on-one -on -one to a product expert to answer any questions you may have on existing products. They can actually also take your order if you're interested in buying something, have a couple of questions. They can actually take your order over the phone um, after they've answered questions that you may have. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest videos and notification of the latest videos and when we're actually live as well and turn your notification on uh, to get the latest updates from us. Um, very lastly, we want to take this opportunity uh, on behalf of Mike, myself, and the whole Mila team. Uh, we want to thank all the frontline workers that are out there um, keeping all of us safe, keeping all of us fed for those that need to obviously move around, transportation that's available out there. Uh, you know, we really want to uh, share our appreciation to all your hard work, bravery to keep everything uh, alive for us. So. Again, on behalf of Mila, we want to thank all of you. We hope you, for sure you'll join us for one of our future sessions um, and be sure to continue to send in your comments as we'll build new sessions for you. So thank you. Uh, have a safe afternoon, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again at Mila Live.